Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to build a rainbow beacon that rotates colors. This is my first tutorial ever, so please bear with me. But I built this thing and I really want to share it with you in case you want to build one in your base or on a server with friends to celebrate pride or something like that. I've seen some other designs floating around, but they're often really, really fast, almost like a strobe light. So I spent some time figuring out how to slow it down which ends up making this machine rather large and kind of expensive to make. Might make a little lag, but it runs okay here. So tr be aware of that. Um, but I believe in you. That's the moral of this story. That's enough introduction about this. Let's get into how to make one yourself if you'd like to. Okay, step number one is decide where you want the beacon to go. It'll be six beams of light coming from the ground. You could build this on top of the ground, but the contraption is massive. So I'm going to show you the way to figure out placement in regards to burying it underground. So the first thing is six beams. So say I want them to show up right in front of this tree. So we'll dig six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to dig a ring around this. You should end up with a hole that is three by eight. Now what we're going to do is dig straight down to make this 15 deep, which is where the actual beacon will go. All right, so we have six beams of white light looking great, but how do we make this into a rainbow? So it's time to dig another hole to fit that into the ground. So we have a giant hole, we have our beacon, we're ready to do the redstone. Love our little floating tree over there. The reason I did it this way is so I can show you how to place it where it's incorporated into the landscape and then you can fill this back in after. Okay, we clean this up a bit down here and put two markers here to indicate where we build the next part of this machine. The markers should be three blocks from this wall and two blocks from this wall three two and we're going to add another block here and here into each block is going to be a comparator with the redstone dust on top and we're going to have two hoppers facing each other so i'm going to put one down first crouch and click it into that one delete that one and place them facing into each other like so then we need a piston, sticky piston. We need a sticky piston. Crouch and click on the side of the redstone dust. It should be facing the hopper, one on this side. And we need a redstone block in between the two. So for this specific configuration, we're gonna be having an array of six colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And for that, the timing that worked out is eight items, eight red tulips for this example. And you'll see that this is going to start pushing back and forth now. The next part we need to build is a pulse extender and I'll build also the configuration, how it connects up into the rest of the machine that we'll be building. So what we're going to do is from here, put a block here, skip one space, a block, two, three, four, and then go over four. And then we're going to add another two blocks in here. And we're going to go a, a stairs up, basically. Like so. So it should be a 4L with two blocks here and then two going up. Now what we're going to do is get some redstone dust. Align here. Fill it here. Comparators. One facing this way. One facing this way. Observer here. Oops, you have to crouch and click on that. Click on the dust. Then we need a repeater here with one tick. Now the way we're going to connect this up to the next part of the machine is through redstone torches. I'm going to put one under here. And we have one up here. So this is what's going to connect this clock to the rest of the whole machine that's going to go in this hole. When this turns on, the process will start. So 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a block on top of this torch and build a three by six platform. So one, two, three, four, five. That is not the right count, but you follow me. Like this. I'm gonna put a string of redstone dust along the back here. Then we're gonna add repeaters in all of these positions. Open spots. And we want this to go left to right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of delay to some of these. So here's the first one. We're not gonna add any delay to these. Then we're gonna add one, two to this one, three to that one, an extra fourth to that one, and a fifth to that one. So what you're gonna see is that these are gonna light up and then they're gonna unlight in an order. If these all had the same configuration, they would all fire at the same time, which you could absolutely do if you want. So we got our clock done. This is it. This clock, this hopper clock here, determines how often the sequence on each beam starts. So going from red, orange, yellow, green, blue to purple, and then it'll start over again. This pulse extender underneath here determines how long each color is out for. So red is out for this little amount of time, then the orange comes out, the red goes away. Yellow comes out, the orange goes away, and so on and so forth. And this bit up here determines how, when each beam starts. So this beam starts, then this one starts, this one starts, etc. Okay, so now that this clock is functioning, comes the fun part. We have to build up the bulk of this machine that will s actually bring the signals up each beam and push out glass using sticky pistons over the white light, which will turn it into each color. This part is quite big. What we're going to do is we're just going to build it. And if I have anything to explain along the way or at the end, I will do that. I'm going to add a row of blocks here. Torch on the top of each of these. We're going to add a row of blocks in front of these torches. With a repeater on top of each. Do full delay. A block on top of each of these. And a block in front of each of these. On the front of each of these we'll go a other torch. And a block in front of these. Two blocks in front, actually, with a repeater here, full delay. All of the repeaters in this section will be full delay, so make sure they're extended out all the way. Then we're going to add a row of blocks on top of these, so if you crouch and click, if you don't crouch it'll change the repeater. And two blocks on top of these. And here's a little different. We need the repeaters to face that way. Because this will get a signal from the torch right below here and send it backwards. Which brings it up to the next layer. A row of torches behind here. A row of blocks on top of these torches. And on top of these repeaters. And we essentially repeat. So anything that's in this section here will be facing forward. And anything on top of this one will be facing backwards. It's a little confusing. Full delay. Broke torches.
And that's it for the redstone clock part of this that will activate the pistons. We'll put on the pistons next. Everything in this column is always facing forward. Everything on the front of these double blocks, so two blocks, will be a torch and a repeater facing forward. Everything in this middle column here will always be facing backwards. Here's something I did not do for you is I did not add a lever to turn this on and off. What you can do is just put a lever next to one of these hoppers and we'll put a lever on there and that will be used to activate or deactivate this. All right, so now the last part we have to do is add, we have to add the pistons and the glass. So let's do the pistons first. So facing out towards the front. And it has to be a sticky piston. Now we're going to do the glass. So the bottom row is going to be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So this is actually complete now. Why don't we give this a test run? That is it. Let's see. There we go. Amazing. Beautiful. So we got our beacon working! That is so great! That was so easy. <laughs> Not me being one of those redstone people saying, that was so easy after building a very elaborate contraption. But here we are. You can do only one beam. This has to remain the same, but you would only build this one slice, essentially and get rid of the rest of this. And if you wanted to add more, you can also do that. What you would have to do for that though is you'd probably have to add more repeaters behind here because this delay is almost maxed out. So it'd have to add, you know, three repeaters behind each or four repeaters behind each. So we can configure them to add more delay as it goes further down the line. There's probably a much better way to do this. Actually, I don't know if there's a much better way, but if there is a better way and someone can solve this, I would be super impressed and infinitely grateful. But I have not been able to figure that out. So this is what I have. It's very <laughs> clunky, but it works. So let's cover this back in. I think it's time to show you what that'll look like all done. beacon lights you'll have to leave a space you can put glass over that or slabs would actually work as well so that looks really nice it has to be not a solid block we could also put string and moss maybe that would also work how about this this is pretty cool Wouldn't even know there's a massive machine below there. Very cool. So, thanks for watching. I'm glad I had this opportunity to share this build with you all. If you are not already, consider hitting that subscribe button. Likes and comments are also very appreciated. Oh, and I don't make a lot of videos, but I do stream regularly on Twitch. So if you enjoyed this content, definitely stop by there sometime. Okay, that's it for me. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.